Right, Warriors, we are live still from the quarantine and uh, it is gratitude month. So in order to practice gratitude, we are going to all go through and say something that we are grateful for. I'm going to unmute Miss Heather so that she can also say what she is grateful for. Um, Bob, tell me something you're grateful for. Great outdoors. The great outdoors. Nice, because you were just out, you were out in the great outdoors this weekend. That's nice. Where were you? I was in Monterey County, Washington. Monterey County, Washington. Nice. Awesome. And you guys can hear me okay, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. And make it. I'm grateful for my unwavering health. Oh, nice. Megan is grateful for her unwavering health. That is huge. Yeah, not good. Yeah, totally. Kyla. Uh, I, I like sweater. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, super grateful it's not 110 degrees like in the weather. Reba. Oh, good. Yeah, that's huge. Sleep. Reba had a really good night's sleep last night. That is a wonderful thing to be grateful for. Absolutely. Chris. Uh, my new dog, Bella. Yeah, Chris got an awesome new dog, Bella. She is like a dog dog. She looks like a like a serious like bring you a duck every morning kind of dog, you know. She's awesome. And then Heather, what are you grateful for? Uh, my bike. Your bike? Uh, yes, I just find it uh, incredibly awesome every day to get on it and get exercise, but also just be out there being able to get around and see my neighborhood. Oh, yeah. Like my life. Yeah. Steve, do you, can, you, can you say something or, or can you tell us what you're grateful for? I can't, I can't ever figure out if, you're, if your audio is ever working. It looks like you're on mute, so that's okay. That's all right. So I am grateful for my business partner who I also have pretty much been in quarantine with this entire time. We are able to give each other hugs on a daily basis and I am so grateful for that. It's so funny because I, I had um, a client come in the other day and uh, she was weighing in and she was masked and she begged me for a hug and it was like, you feel so funny, like like actually giving somebody a hug. And when you do, that connection is so much more intense now, you know? So I am really, really grateful for hugs, however safely I can get them. Yes, yes, all right. So guys, we're gonna start uh, with our mobility warm up on the, oh, actually, no, we're doing jumping jacks, because we do that now. We totally do that now. All right, guys, I'm gonna count the first five. You're gonna count the second five. If you're at home, you can do body weight squats if you don't wanna do jumping jacks. All right, and go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, eight. nine, ten. And go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Second set, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Last set. Last set. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome, guys. I'm just going to throw on some music, grab your mat. We're going to do a bunch of mobility stuff. Alexa, play Florence on the Machine Radio. The station Florence on the Machine on Amazon Music. Or not. There you go. There we go. It's kind of late. All right, guys, let's start with my most beloved Cossack stretch. All right, get down on the ground. Leg comes out to the side. 
pushing back onto that butt with that heat, with that your, your, pushing back onto your heel with your butt. Getting the right body parts this morning. Ten times. Then we're going to switch it out to the other side. Now I want to switch it back to the original side and I'm going to do my hip lifts. So I'm just going to do that leg lift directly up, but not a lot of height with this. I want you to keep that butt down five times. Okay, take it to the other side after you've done five on the, on the original side. All right. Let's go ahead, give our wrists just a break for a second, sitting back on our heels, rotating our wrists forward about 10 times, and then we're going to rotate our wrists back about 10 times. Nice. Coming back into that quadruped position, we're going to do some hip circles, so knee to elbow, out to side, up and back and down. Knee to elbow, out to side, up and back and down. Just keeping that leg at a right angle, really thinking about drawing a circle with that knee. And then the rest of your leg just kind of follows along. Five times that direction and then five times the other direction. Again, trying not to lift that hip, keeping that glute really engaged as we're doing this. So knee to elbow, out to back, to side, Back to front, five times. All right, switching it out to the other side. Knee to elbow, out to side, up and back and down. Five times, five nice circles, getting those poor little hips nice and warmed up. Take it back the other way. All right, let's give our shoulders a nice little stretch. So we're gonna push our butt back onto our heels. We're gonna keep that one hand, that one arm long. We're gonna reach through, bringing that other arm and other shoulder to the ground if possible. And then we're gonna rotate out. Following that elbow with your eye, Come back down, trying to get as close to the floor as possible. If you can touch the ground, fantastic. Rotate out. We're taking it slow. After you've done five times on the one side, switch it out to the five times on the other. Stretches, stretches. All right, guys. So Next, what we're, we're still on the ground. And now what we're gonna do is a cat cow. So we're gonna go into our arched cow position, I'm sorry, cat position. <laughs> I've forgotten my am animals. Sorry about that. <laughs> and then coming back, bringing head up. All right. There's that. So five times. Whoa. Getting that nice stretch. Awesome. 
Now we're going into one of my favorites, the pigeon. So we're gonna go into that high plank, bringing that knee in through the hands. I want you to keep that back leg really active, all right? And then I want you to bring this hip that's over that foot down. Ah, getting those hips to balance out, get really straight with those hips. There you go. Yeah, Reba, can they come down a little bit more towards that foot? Yeah, so ro there it is, that rotation. There it is, yeah. Yeah, I want you, if you can, if your knee can handle it, yeah, I want you to keep that leg really active in the back. I want you guys to breathe into it. All right, switching it out to the other side. Whoa, one hip might feel a lot tighter than the other. Huh, Bob? They're both. <laughs> They're both tight. Equal love for Bob's hips. Yeah, breathing into it. All right, guys, let's go into our frog stretch. So what I want to do is I'm going to come down to my forearms. I'm going to be really, really gentle with my groin. I'm gonna bring those legs out. My feet are gonna come directly down from my, from my knees. And then I'm gonna squeeze the earth together with my knees for five, four, three, two, one. And then I want you to rock it forward. I want you to release it. Maybe you can get a little bit more stretch when you push back into it and really squeeze the earth with those knees for five, four, three, two, one. Nice. All right. Now, let's come up. We're going to do our I's, our Y's, our W's, and our T's. It's like Sesame Street. We're getting all our letters in today. All right. So for my eyes, I want to come into that hinge position where I really pull my butt to the back wall. I'm going to bring my hands up next to my ears, and then my arms are going to come up in the back like I'm doing a ski jump, then coming back up. Now, I never ski, so I don't know if this is actually the appropriate way to describe what I'm doing with my arms. I hope I don't cause any harm to anybody if you're actually skiing and you think this is the way to do it. Let's go ahead and do five big motions. All right. I'm going to stand up. I'm just going to shake it out for a second. And then I'm gonna do my Y's. So my Y's are gonna be more at a, a 45 degree angle from my head, and then I'm just gonna come right to my knees. So again, I'm in that hinge position. All right. Now. We're gonna do our W's. So for my W's, I want my elbows together, my hands together, like I'm in this book form. And then I'm gonna bend over into that hinge position, coming right out to the side, bringing those hands right out from, to my shoulders. There we go, squeezing those shoulder blades. And five of those. And then last but not least, with our letters, we're gonna do our T's. So I'm in that hinge position, arms come right out to the side. Now I'm really squeezing those shoulder blades as I bring my arms up, but directly out from the side. All right. Now we're gonna get our squats warmed up with our homework from last month. So we're gonna do that deep squat. I'm grabbing my toes. I'm coming into a deeper squat than I would normally, almost like sitting into it. And then what I wanna do is I wanna rotate out. I'm gonna rotate out. And then I'm gonna bring my chin to my chest as I lengthen those hamstrings. Hold it here for a second, get that nice stretch, and then come back. Oops. Uh, yeah, feeling really tight today. I think it's all the tendon work we've been doing. Uh, 
All right. Yeah, feeling good. All right, now we're gonna do our, route, our walk arounds. So I wanna come into this really deep lunge, trying to get that butt down as far as I can. I want a really nice long lunge. I'm gonna walk my hands out into this high plank, keeping my butt about the same level as my shoulders. I'm gonna come back in and then I'm gonna rotate out when I get to my, to my hands back in to my foot rotating away or in what direction is that <laughs> we're gonna do five times on each side Okay guys, a couple more things. We're gonna go back to the ground. We are gonna do our bretzel, the beloved bretzel. So what I wanna do is I wanna have this leg come directly down off from my hip. I'm gonna grab my top leg with my bottom arm. I'm gonna grab my bottom leg with my top arm. And then I'm gonna to try to get that shoulder, that back shoulder to the ground as I look over that shoulder. We're holding, we're breathing. All right, let's flip it to the other side. So top leg, bottom arm, top arm, bottom leg. Really pull on both those legs as you look over that shoulder, as you're trying to get it to the ground. Yeah, and now while we're here, let's go ahead and do our archers, our side-lying archers. So I'm on my side, my knees are stacked, my knees are bent, I'm reaching forward with both my arms and then I'm dragging that arm along the chest and then I'm looking out over that shoulder and then I'm coming back in. I'm gonna do this five times. Five, nice. Then we're going back over to the other side. Making sure those knees are stacked, reaching forward, dragging that arm along that chest. Really following that hand with, that, with your eyes to get that even more of that stretch in that thoracic spine. Uh, woo! All right. So, I'm going to go ahead and take my mat and put it to the side so it's not in my way. I'm going to grab really, really light dumbbells for our uh, as fast as possible. All right. So, we're going to go through each one of these um, exercises to start before we actually get into the circuit itself. And then uh, we'll do our circuit. We're gonna go at our own speed, but every time we're done with one of the sets, you're gonna rest for at least two minutes. I really want that heart rate to come down because you're gonna bring that heart rate right back up really high when you're actually doing the circuit itself. So for just, just for our, um, our warm up, we're gonna go ahead and do um, all the exercises. So the first one, we're gonna either do a T-spine push-up or you're gonna do an archer plank. So for your T-spine push-up, your, your hands are gonna, you're, you're gonna be in your regular push-up position. You're coming all the way to the ground. You're coming up. Actually, you're spreading your legs out so that you have stability. You're reaching out, <sighs> reaching out. Now, if you're not doing that, then you're just doing your archer plank where you're bringing that hand along your chest. And we're doing five on each side. Five. All 
All right. So next I have my bent rows. So for my bent rows, I want to make sure that I get into that really nice hinge position. So I'm pulling that butt to that back wall. I'm only bending my knees enough so that I feel my hamstrings activate, staying in those lats. Don't curve that back. Don't come out of those arms. And then you're bringing your dumbbells up to your hips, really squeezing those shoulder blades. So go ahead and give me 10 of those. All right. Now, yesterday we were doing thrusters, and the thruster is a deep squat with an overhead press. Now we're gonna do push press, which is only a quarter squat with an overhead press. So I'm gonna go into my quarter squat, and I'm gonna blast up out of it, catch back down, just into a quarter squat. So just a shallow squat. Give me 10 of those. Exhale at the top. Good job, guys. All right, then we have our Snurpees, so we can put our weights to the side. So, the two different ways to start with the Snurpee is you can either just lightly lower yourself to the ground, then you go into your knee grab, all right? Ah. Or you can do a pistol squat, so you can have one leg out, lower yourself to the ground, and then go into your, into your knee grab. You're gonna roll over, you're gonna pop it up, and then you're either gonna do just your sit down or you're gonna do your pistol squat, knee grab, roll it over to the other side and pop it up. All right? <laughs> so four, we're doing four of those during the circuit. So what that means is when I'm, when I'm facing one direction, that's one. When I'm facing the other direction, that's two. So we just did, I just did two basically. Then I would just do two more, all right? So coming down, going into my knee grab, rolling over, popping up, that's one. Coming down, knee grab, rolling over, that's two. So basically, every time you do a knee grab, that's one. Does that make sense? <laughs> Which, what, what's the smile, Bob? You having fun? Yeah, so much fun. <laughs> so much fun. So much fun here at the dojo. So much fun here at the dojo, good job. Yeah. Kyla, getting different weights, all right. <laughs> Smart choice. Yeah, just give me four guys for the warm up. <laughs> I like good decision making with weights. All right, let me grab the timer. So, oops. Um, so I just have the timer on guys so that when you're done with your set, you watch the clock for two minutes, all right, before you go again. Okay, so when we're actually doing this and we're doing the bent rows, the push presses, all of that, I want you to go as fast as possible, right? So my bent rows are boom, 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 but with perfect form. My push presses are boom, boom, all right? So as fast as you can go, all right? We're doing four sets of these, so we're starting off with our T-spine push-ups or our archer planks, all right? And we're gonna go. Five on each side. If you're doing the push-ups, it's gonna take you a little bit longer. All right, our next exercise is our bent row. One, two, three, 10 of those. Six, seven, eight, Nine, 10. Yeah. Can you go faster, Reba? There you go, there you go. It seems counterintuitive, but yeah, on speed strength day, we wanna go real fast. Going into our push presses, 10 of those. And then we have our Snurpees. All right, so. If you're doing your pistol squat, try not to place your weights in a place where you roll onto them. That will hurt. <laughs> Knee grab, roll it over, pop it up. Pistol squat, if you can. If not, you're just sitting down. 
Rolling over. Popping it up. Ah. Popping it up. All right. Two minutes rest. Two minutes. Ha. Ah. Grab water. Ha ha ha. How does that feel, Bob? It's down, getting out. So basically what you're saying is Snoopies are your favorite. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I'm with you. How's that feel, Reba? Good? Awesome. All right. Yeah, so we're trying to get almost a full heart rate recovery with this two minutes of rest before we go back into it, all right? That was set one. We're going to go into set two. I have about another minute before I start. Whoo! Yay! Lovely, lovely Wednesday morning. Is it supposed to rain today? Does anybody know? Is it 75. 75 today? All right. Okay. Got it. Yeah. All right, guys, getting back into it. So, starting with either my T spine push ups or my archer planks. Two. Trying to go fast with those archer planks. Then I got my bent rows. Making sure that setup is really good and then going after it. Ten of those. All right. Then I got my push presses. Again, take your time. If you're doing those T-spine push-ups, that's okay. If you're doing your archer planks, you go fast. All right. And then I got my Snoopies. Yay. This is a Training for Warriors special. So special. So special. Popping it up. Coming down. Going into that knee grab, rolling it over. Popping it up. Ugh, here. Make sure to switch out that leg with that pistol squat. Don't keep doing the same leg over and over again, like I think I've been doing. Rolling it up. Here we go. Nice. Two minutes rest. Two minutes. Good job, guys. Good job. <laughs> I know. This is when we test the confines of our eight foot squares. Just like <laughs> small apartment living here at the dojo. Yay. <laughs> two minutes of rest, guys. Make sure you get that full two minutes of rest. It's great if you're going super fast at home. Don't rush the rest, all right? All right. I'm going to grab some liquid really fast. Just not from the water cooler. Ah. Was that? That uh, that was one minute. Right? It's funny. Yeah, with the stress, uh, the stress of the physical activity, how your brain just sort of evaporates. And it's like, wait, how many reps did I do? How many sets did I do? Who can tell these things? <laughs> I know. Isn't that crazy? Or like, I'll be sitting up, up at my desk and I'll have like a snack or something. And then all of a sudden it's gone. And I'm like, did Josh just come over and eat my snacks? And I didn't really, and it's like, no, I just blah, 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 blah. 
Anyway. <laughs> All right, guys, I think that's getting a little close to two minutes. Yeah? All right, so T-spine push-ups or archer planks. This is our third set. Nice, Bob. Nice, Chris. Five. Woo! Bent rows, bent rows. Ten of those. Really squeeze those shoulder blades, guys, when you get to the top. Full extension with those arms. And I got my push presses. Just a quarter squat, just a shallow squat. Nice, Heather. Good job, Steve. Ah, all right. Our favorite Snurpees, what? We get to do Snurpees. Knee grab, roll it over, pop it up. Knee grab, roll it over, pop it up. <laughs> Woo! Try not to fall over. That is a key. And that's four. So every time you do a knee grab, that's one. Oh, two minutes. Two minutes of rest. This will make it easier on us to count this time. Ha! Woo! Who's loving the, no, what's that, Reba? Yeah, it's a weird one, right? Yeah, did you have enough room in your bedroom to do the Snurpees? <laughs> do you have pets? No. No. Just kids, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, right, exactly. Good luck. Yeah, especially when you have carpet. Right. Roomba problems, guys. Roomba problems. If you're working from home and you got the Roomba going around. Yeah. Oh, my God. Exactly. We got about 40 seconds. Have you guys ever seen that, that post from that guy talking about the Roomba and how he got it replaced by Roomba? Because his... Um, his daughter came into bed one night while he was sleeping and he was, she's like three or four and she smelled like dog shit. And so he's like, why does my daughter smell like dog shit? And he goes downstairs and the puppy had pooped on the living room floor and the Roomba went over it and just dragged it throughout the entire house. And he like drew a diagram for Roomba to show them where all the poop went, you know, and on his daughter. And they gave him a new one because he tried to fix it. And it was just like the sweetest story. <laughs> I mean, really disgusting, but anyway. All right, guys, we got this. We got this. Last set. Last set. Nice, Bob. All right, got my bent rows. Yeah, nice. Jesus. Bob is calling upon the gods to help him through this workout. 10 push presses. Yeah. Snurpees. Woo, coming down. Rolling over. Popping it up. If you're doing pistol squats, don't forget, switch out those legs. 
If you're not, you're just sitting gently onto the ground. Just with those pistol squats, don't fall into it. Whoops, switch out the leg, coming down. Yeah, ha ha, ha ha. You got this, Bob. Yeah. All right. Let's get some rest, guys, and then we're going to go into some ab work. Yay, abs! So, you might want to grab your mat again. Put your weights to the side so you don't bonk yourself with them. After we get some rest, we're going to go into this together. We're doing two sets of 15 of each. We're going to do 15 hip lifts, bicycle crunches, toe touches, side plank hip lifts, and penguins. But we'll do, we'll do both sets all together, all right? Just getting some, getting some good rest here. Woo! Yeah. Good morning, Wednesday. Getting the work in. All right. So guys, I'll go ahead and demo the hip lift while you're still getting some rest. I'm down on the ground. My hands are out to the sides. I'm lifting my legs at a right angle. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull my knees to my face, getting my butt off the ground. Now, with this, I'm just coming up onto my shoulder blades. I'm not coming up onto my neck, okay? So you're just going as far as your shoulder blades and then back down. Now, with this one, we're not gonna touch our toes to the ground like we normally do. You're just bringing your, your, your knees up to your face and back down. Now, if you wanna go fast with it, you can, but this is not the speed strength part, okay? What I'd really rather you do is really engage those abs so you're not throwing yourself up and down. You know, you're really pulling yourself with those abs, contracting those abs, okay? So, let's get on the ground. We're gonna do 15 of these. I'm gonna turn off the clock. We'll get it ready for our homework for later. All right, so just 15, just 15. All right, knees coming to your face and back down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, what? That sure does add up. So Chris, can you keep your head on shoulders on the ground when you're doing that? Yeah, I want you to keep your head, I don't want you to lift your head up. I want you to keep your head down as you just lift your legs to you, okay? So when we're doing our bicycle crunches, we're just lifting our shoulder blades off the ground and then we're going opposite elbow to opposite knee. Now this is 15, so that means 15 on each side. So 30 if you would. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Nice, all right. So guys, with those toe touches, what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna have your legs at a right angle this time, so straight up, as straight up as possible, locking out those legs. And then what I'm gonna have you do is bring your arms to your chest. I want you to reach up, just getting those shoulder blades off the ground and then coming back down again. If you wanna make this harder, you can put your legs at more of an angle away from you. All right, reaching up, 15. Four, five, six. Good job, warriors. Fifteen of those. All right. 
Okay, so side plank with hip lifts. For our side plank, I want my body all in line with my ankles, knees, hips, shoulders, head. I'm on my um, forearm and my shoulder is right over that elbow. I lift up, I can put my hand here, I can raise my hand up, I can put a dumbbell in that hand and then I'm gonna come down and then raise it back up again. So 15 on this side and then switch it out to 15 on the other. Try to get those hips up as high to the ceiling as possible. Hey, here we go, other side. Really watch that shoulder. You can either have your hand here or up. If you're having a hard time with balance with those two feet on top of each other, you can stack one foot in front of the other if that makes it easier on you. All right. Then we have our beloved penguins, penguins. So I have my, my feet close to my butt. I'm just gonna lift my shoulder blades as I reach as far down that shoe as possible, really contracting and expanding the obliques as I crunch over 15 on each side. rest for a couple seconds. Woo! And then we just have one more set. Just two sets. What? You're welcome. <laughs> no, I think uh, I think Josh got this from a warrior tracker. Yeah. What was that? Yeah, exactly. I could see the smile on your face radiate with only two as opposed to three. All right, guys, you got this. We're going to start with our hip lifts again. All right, keeping those heads and shoulders on the ground. There you go, Chris. Nice job. Nine, ten. All right, oh, that adds up. Then we have our bicycle crunches. So guys, with those bicycle crunches, I want you to really make sure you get that other leg extended fully out as you go opposite elbow to opposite knee. 15 on each side. Yeah, those are fun. Toe touches, yeah. So guys, try to lock out those legs as much as possible. I want you to really feel this in the quads. And then you're coming up, reaching, getting those shoulder blades off the ground. Fifteen. And then we have our side planks. Yay! Just make sure you get that body all aligned before you start, all right? And don't have that head forward or back. Keep that head in line with those shoulders. Dipping those hips down. Side plank with hip lifts. Five, six. 
Every time I'm doing these, I feel my face squish up and I hear Josh in my head yelling, relax that face, relax that face. You can be tired. <laughs> but you can't act tired. <sighs> Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo. Feeling it. Oh. Ah, yeah. Then penguins. Penguins for dessert. Tastes like chicken. Just kidding. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Awesome. All right, guys. Let's get some water, get a little bit of rest. And then we're going to go into our homework. Ha. Doing all the things this morning, all the things. All right. So guys, when we do the homework, I'm gonna set it up like a Tabata so that we have 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. We're gonna go ahead and start with our mountain climbers first today. And you can either do a regular mountain climber or you could do a crossbody mountain climber. So regardless of whichever one you're doing, I, wanna make, I want you to make sure that those shoulders are over those wrists and you're getting knee to elbow. So trying really hard to get that knee all the way to your elbow, that's a cross body and a regular is just switching it out, same side, all right? And then we're gonna do either our uh, T-spine push-ups or we're gonna do our archer planks. We're gonna do uh, five, oh, I'm sorry, we're gonna do 20 seconds of that or you're coming all the way down into your push-up, then going into that. Then we're gonna be doing our uh, knee grabs. So our knee grabs, legs are out straight, arms in close to the chest, making sure to get those feet flat on the ground when you come up to the top. <laughs> Use those shins, just let those shoulder blades hit the ground and then come right back up again, okay? So we're gonna start in our mountain climber position. I got the timer, 20 seconds of work. You have 10 seconds to transition to the next, to the next exercise. All right, we're going. Three, two, one, hit it. All right, guys, getting close. All right, 10 seconds to transition into our push-ups or our archer planks. Woo! And we're going. More push-ups, Bob, more push-ups. We. All right, now we're going into our knee grabs. 10 seconds before we go into our knee grabs. And hit it. You got this, you got this. All right. Yeah. That was it. Ah. Great job, warriors. We did a whole bunch of different styles of exercise this morning. I'm really grateful to get my body moving first thing in the day. Or you YouTubers who are gonna do this later, 
Great job getting the workout in. Super grateful for all my Warrior Familia here at Training for Warriors. We're here to help you bring forth the warrior within. Da da da! Yay! I need this.